Here's a step-by-step -step guide to insert an intravenous cannula. Firstly, apply your tourniquet tightly above the point at which you want to insert your cannula. This allows blood to gather in the vein and makes it large and juicy. When you have selected your appropriate large and juicy vein, clean it with an alcohol wipe using outward circles. This cleans the area in which you plan to insert your cannula and hopefully will mitigate infection. Once you have prepared the site, prepare your cannula in whatever way tickles your fancy. Once ready, Unsheath the needle and insert into the vein. Obtain a low angle of insertion and glide the needle forward. Obtaining first flash in the initial chamber suggests that your needle is inside the vein. When you achieve this, level off your angle even more and slide the entire device forward a few more millimeters. This will ensure that both the needle and the plastic catheter are inside the vein. Be sure not to push the device too far whilst the needle is still in situ otherwise you risk perforating the other side of the vein. Next, glide the plastic catheter over the top of the needle so it remains in the vein. Blood should appear in the plastic catheter when you do this. This is known as your second flash. Once you have achieved this, remove your tourniquet and prepare to remove your needle. It's important to remember that when your needle has been removed, blood may flow from the cannula, so you need to clamp it off to stop this leakage. Place your plastic cap on the end of the cannula to secure it and to stop blood from flowing outwards. Take your cannulation sticker and remove the two long strips. Next, remove the entire cannula sticker backing and place over the device. You can then apply a date sticker so everyone knows when the cannula was inserted. Flush to ensure your cannula is patent and look out for complications, which may or may not be covered in other videos on this page. You should definitely follow to look out for them.